Hi. Now, I've got an example here which talks about singular matrices. And we're given that A is the matrix, a 2 by 2 matrix, which has elements x, 3x minus 1, 4 and 5. And we've got to find the value of x if A is a singular matrix. Now, in earlier tutorials, I talked about what a singular matrix was. And just as a brief reminder, if you had a matrix A with elements A, B, C, D, then the inverse matrix, A with a little minus 1 here, was equal to 1 divided by the determinant of A multiplied by this matrix where we switch the position of the two elements in the leading diagonal and change the sign of the two elements in the trailing diagonal. And that determinant of the matrix A was given by AD minus BC, the product of the leading diagonal minus the product of the trailing diagonal. And if that determinant of A was equal to 0, then 1 divided by 0 gives us an undefined result. So we have the inverse of A is not defined. And if that's the case, then A was called a singular matrix. A was singular then. So if we're to find the value of x, if A is a singular matrix, then we would need to have that the determinant of the matrix A equals 0. So if I was answering this question, I would put a kind of little intro, and it would be something like this, that if A is singular, let's just put that in, if A is singular, then the determinant of A, det A, equals 0. And so, therefore, that would mean that the product of the leading diagonal, 5 times x, 5x, minus the product of the trailing diagonal, 4 times 3x minus 1, should equal 0. And I just need to solve this for x. So, therefore, we've got 5x, and if we expand the bracket, we get minus 12x plus 4, that must equal 0. If we group together the x terms, we're left with minus 7x, and if we subtract 4 from both sides, we get equals minus 4. And now if we divide both sides then by minus 7, you get x equals 4 sevenths. And that's how you find x then. So I hope that gives you an idea and a reminder then about singular matrices. OK, well that brings us now to the end of this particular tutorial. Don't forget you can always find more maths videos on my website.